people mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagita said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izu, hope means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. Yeah, just like pop one of them off and put it in the Haji, man. That's how it works. Yep. Ye? The reserve department. Here it said that the reserve course students in the reserve department began uprising. Man, what about me? You killed the most, Hajime. You're a terrible person. Was I participating? Hmm. That's not oh, possible. Maybe that's why he didn't remember he was a reserve course student. Like, he killed a whole bunch of people. Or, like, was responsible for someone's death and it, like, traumatized him and he just blocked it out. Hmm. That's too smart. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Mm-hmm. All right. I've learned about the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Hmm. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? I guess. What kind of incident was it? A lot of high schoolers got upset. And who's this other student that isn't Izu? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? Hmm. 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 This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Heck. Alright. Maybe the hallways will change again, and I'll just be, like, taken right where I need to go. Nope, still on the fifth floor. Uh, but it looks like doors are opening up, so maybe that'll help. Okay. I forget, I think there's actually a sprint button. Yeah, here we go, now I'm flying. There's nothing else here. What the heck? Maybe I can go down here now? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, raw. Why raw? Like some raw. Oh, Haji, man. Jeez. Oh, I'm on a Kuma doll. And a uh, horror manga. What the hell is this room? It's so cold in here. Uh. That's like I'm in a freezer. It's so cold. God damn. I should hurry and investigate so I can get out of this cold. Maybe if we sit in here long enough, Hajime will die. Of cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, glitchy Monokuma. Darigata. God damn, we have so many of those Monokuma coins. All right, it's a Junji Ito manga. There's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons: The Biggest, Most Awful, Most Tragic Event in Human History. Oh boy! I knew it. The next one will obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Uh. Just when was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. <laughs> wow, Hajime. After hearing it hyped up all this time, you're just like, it's probably lame. I flipped through the pages and hoped that I was right. Ah. Oh, this one's got the squiggly lines in the background. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Sure. Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. Give it a bum, bada! <laughs> Damn, it's a good start. How do you spell that? <laughs> Skibbity bop bada! At first, the uprising by the reserve course students would have triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to es escalate to dangerous extremes. The rumors started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. Mm, Reddit, that's what happened. <laughs> the community was not limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in. It was r slash incel thoughts. Yeah. 
but the moment the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then, it was too late. The ends of the means had vanished and wanton destruction became their only goal. Oh, so just everyone became like terror. Oh, okay. Uh, what? I think that like everyone just started um, doing like a, 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 the purge. They all started like just killing indiscriminately. Because of what happened here? I, I guess so. I don't know how that really works. Like, I mean, they said it was the trigger. It could be some like butterfly effect kind of shit where it's just like the reserve course was like, man, uh, people that think they're so great have been mistreating us for so long and then, you know, got onto r slash incel and uh, it just kind of blew up from there and led to people eventually just fucking, like, you know, riot. I mean, shit, that actually happens in real life. We had the capital get stormed. Mm -hmm. People be fucking crazy. Strong push the weak. They were killed the weakest... The weak killed the weakest among them, and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. Damn. But then the weak became too strong, so they murdered them. <laughs> and then the strong had to become weak so that they could kill the weakest. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, with senseless deaths for the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Ooh. Pure war. Because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? Honestly. The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy status for the sake of mankind's hope, they use it for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Damn, that that is um, that is kind of depressing. <laughs> That's pretty fucked. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair and golf in the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. She. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt cold. That's because you're standing in the fucking freezer, Hachime. Oh. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. Hmm. I mean, if this is really true, then why am I still here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> my family, my friends, the convenience store, my favorite restaurant. What happened to them? Well, your favorite restaurant has been taken, Hajime. I'm sorry to tell you this. I know that's what you're most concerned about. Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? I mean, lots of people read Junji Ito and enjoy it. Just don't judge them. You don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. I, I, maybe that's common? I, I don't know. What is this messed up manga? I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you to not remember that, such despair. 
That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. Hmm. I see. So that's how it is. Hmm. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted. You know, we saw this happen once before. We don't need to see it again. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Yeah, fuck Monokuma. And fuck him. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... No, that's definitely it. Ah! Alright. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world in this is this ultimate despair group? If they devoted to certain students who guided Hope's Creek Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Creek Academy? Are, the, are those two not the same tragedy? Because, like, the one that's just called the tragedy, that's not the biggest, most awful, uh, most convoluted thing to happen to the world, right? Like, that's its own thing. Like, I I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the tragedy versus the tragedy of Hope's Creek Academy is. Hmm. Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? If they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then are the killings were... Are the killings were involved in... What? Mm -hmm. Are, are the, killing... the killings... Yeah. That's weird. Is... We are involved in? Are the killings we are involved in connecting? Yeah, that seems right we to me. No, it's stupid. Uh, uh. It connects to them as well. It's no use. I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. What if he did just freeze to death? Would Monokuma just have to like, ah, oh, shit. Um, murder trial. Yeah. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Somewhere where there's less glitchiness. Uh, 5C is still locked. Okay. Where can I go next? Maybe I can finally leave this floor? If I have to go through all five floors. I don't know. Wait. 5B was locked before, I think. And 5A. I don't think we gone into 5A. We went into, like, 5C or something. Hmm. Despair. Oh. Fuhiko. And uh, Bear. 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 What? Ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend. Hey! <laughs> no! Yeah, I'll pretend. I'll go along with it. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. <laughs> I wonder why. It's gonna be shitty either way. God damn it. I'll let you handle it. There's no way to deal with this idiot. Uh, damn. I don't want to do that either. All right, Monokuma, what's going on, man? Why, hello, Wajime, I hope you're doing pleasingly well. Are you pleasing well, Lee? Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing? I mean, I've been showing up every, like, five minutes. I don't know why you're upset about me being here this time. Eh, there's another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. Hee <laughs> hee, I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? I should have done that for the beginning. I don't want to read your manga in the first place. Listen, not everybody's able to jump between fucking shoujo manga to gumshoe to fucking Junji Ito. A high school student that doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler that doesn't like eating hot pots. Getting really fed up with your babbling, bear. Ooh. What do you want to tell me? Ooh, it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Surprise! It's about the ultimate despair! Yeah! Huh. Ooh. Ahem. 
<clears throat> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. A high school girl? I think I know who that is. La yeah, it is, yeah. Lady Junko Inoshima. Who? She's the fucking best. As the former Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the Ultimate Despairs. It's like, you know, when somebody makes a band, it's like John and the Johnettes, but it's like the Despair and the Despairettes. Yeah, there's one really horrible person in that group. A really fucked up kid, looked just like that guy over there. Hold on a sec. I don't know what the Ultimate Despairs are, but it's not an easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. I mean, have, have you seen OnlyFans? It's more accurate than you'd think. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that instant became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was the purpose? Huh? Like, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make any sense. Well, that's the point. We're, this game doesn't make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way to do that without any purpose. It was just Lady Junko Embassy Shiba's despair. Oh fuck, I'm getting oh. drunk. For Junko Inoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Inoshima as Junko Inoshima. What are you saying? I don't know, isn't it weird how this is like entirely all like set in like Japanese culture? Like I get like ultimate despair could be anybody, but like every ultimate is Japanese. I'm just a stuffed plushie, though. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. Wait, did we have an ultimate in this group that was not Japanese? I'm trying to remember. No, I think everyone was Japanese. Junko Inoshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate disparates one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything, really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so the ultimate disparates who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like only fans. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair. All in Junko and Oshima's name. For example, they killed their family and uh, friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. Holy fuck. Jesus. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Final days? Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. What do you mean, final days? What happens to the Reserve Department? They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. And so the 2,357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. Holy shit! Mass suicide. All 20,000 students? <laughs> Not that many. It wasn't all of them. One person was excluded somehow. Hajime, this loser. How'd he do that? One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? But what if it wasn't? What if it was actually oh. b b Borat? I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate Despair, Junko, Inoshima. It doesn't scare me at all, I mean. She's already dead. Oh? How you know huh? that? Oh, it even has her fucking pic her art in this game. Yay! I like her. But how he know he already she already dead? The heck? Hmm. 
Can we ask him? Be like, hey, how do you know that? Is it true what you said? That she's already dead? Huh? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons in that bloody classroom. Oh. Bloody classroom, what? What was that you said about the cutting school life? Oh, yeah. Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because their many students worked together to defeat her. Uh. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. I don't know. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn. Oh, sorry. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with lots of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Inoshima. Yeah. The mass the mastermind took her own life, which means Juno Junko Inoshima is dead. Hmm. <laughs> It turns out that Killing School Life was part of the whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Finally, someone says it like I want to say it. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy, and she took away their memories. That's just like us. Oh my god, it's, this is Metal Gear. Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. Surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing. Just like us. Whoa. The students of Hope Speak Academy were widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they would try to fill everyone who would watch the broadcast with despair all at once. Man, that's messed up. Yeah, man. <laughs> but that messed up plan was stopped. Junko Inoshima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in a trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. Hmm. And Junko was no more. Hmm. <laughs> 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 He's just watching in the back. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore. Damn. Who was our enemy? Mm. Are you gonna say something? <laughs> she's already dead. Are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. The killings were involved in resemble the killing school life. <laughs> I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but. An imitation is just that, an imitation. Wait, let me get ready. Aw, oh, fuck. What? I was, if it panned over to Monokuma, I was just gonna really get up in there. If the students of Host Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But this is this really imitation? Are those surveillance cameras the same too? Yeah. The camera's all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Live? Truth bullet, yeah. <laughs> Man, Ajime, you totally know about that story, huh? Do you have a problem with that? Oh, well, I really want you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. Oh, well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What if you raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Oh, I'm gonna. Oh God! You're getting clear closer to clearing my character out. You're about to see my mana hole, my mana cussy. Uh, have you been saying that at all this whole time? What cussy? Yeah, or any sort of cussy? No, not in this game so far. I don't think. You're not making any sense again. <laughs> now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy! Come inside, Hajime, please. Get inside of me. 
Well, leave Monokuma alone with his 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 bare parts. Uh, oh, oh, screen's getting all fuzzy, and we're on a different floor. Oh. Oh. Uh, it changed the different hallway again. We're making progress. What's going on to make something like this happen? I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. <laughs> I don't know. Meanwhile, Hajime is losing his vision like he has lead poisoning. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. All right. Uh, Akane, did you find anything cool? Oh my god, I ran right into her. Mmm. Aquan Aquanis. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's me, Aquane. What happened? Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I think my name's different now. I feel like someone's getting closer. Who? I don't know. It's my gut. What do you feel want? I'm fucking... I have nothing for it. <laughs> Shit. That's her gut. But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For someone, it's strangely intuitive. Hmm. And Monica would just say something about the main cast coming. Yeah. It's surprising, but her gut may be correct again this time. Hell yeah. Akane's gut is never wrong. We, like, do that thing where you, like... Actually, I guess you don't do a thing with shit, but we look at her shit and we can glean the future from it. I was thinking of, like, how there's those Greek people back in the day that like to do prophecies. They'd rip someone's intestines out and just, like, say it's like, yep, those intestines, they'd be telling stories. But we're gonna do it to Akane. She'll be the last murder victim. And, but it'll progress the game. Oh, what the fuck? This looks like the music room. With two very strange things <laughs> floating. I feel like I could see something strange. Huh. Yeah, I wonder. It looks like some sort of monument. How would there be a monument to the music room? And not just that. The mark engraved to the monument is a symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in Hope's Peak Academy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I messed up. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. We were among the many who established the future foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Speak Academy? Uh. Aren't they known as a world ender? This is completely different. He made it up, that stupid old bear. And yeah, motherfucker. Oh, fuck his mother. What about this? Can I interact with this? Yeah, hologram. What's this? What's are floating in the air. <laughs> which is, which is, it's just a hologram. It's like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. Looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report you gave you, we gave you the other day. We have obtained information a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope Speak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of fifteen survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they are survivors of Hope Speak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Jinko and Ashima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if there are survivors of Host Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Hmm. Also regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jepperoak Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World Program. Hmm. Survivors of Hope Peak Academy. Fifteen students. Oh my god. Is that us? Oh my god. Excluding Chiaki, who is part of the Future Foundation. There are definitely fifteen of us, but... What do survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. Hmm? What happened outside Jabberwock Island? Well, you already know. It went to shit. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world is a vampire. 
<laughs> the world is a vampire. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. Oh damn, Hajime is gonna stay in the simulation. I guess that's all the clues in this room. Hmm. It's finally confirmed the creature foundation is on our side at least. I don't know, maybe in two more clues that might change. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. That's really true. Like, I guess maybe Chiaki's program not to, but could have made this all go a lot easier. As long as Monokuma was around, she probably didn't say anything fair to Steve. Monokuma, if he's the future foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despair to cause the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I'm taking a swig. Hell yeah. Let's take the a one... swig together. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> no, you The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko Unashima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention is Emo Chi. What is this research facility on Jabberon Island? Mentioned in email. What's that about? Yeah, what, what research that about? facility? What that about? What, about? what a go. What that dog the doing? Only, the only future foundation facility we found was that Age of Ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. There's still so many mysteries. Hmm. Alright. Gotta find more shit. Oh. Is it, I wonder if it's just gonna keep getting cloudier and cloudier to like, see shit. Till eventually I just pass out and die. Uh, here we go. The office. Teacher's lounge. Hell yeah. What kind of dirty things happen in the teacher's lounge? But not dirty dirty, but like, you know, There's terrible. No Aw. <gasps> Hajime Hinata. Oh, it's all the students on the board. Oh. Yeah. There's that weird old man again. This feels different from the classroom. Yeah, it's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Not that you mention it, it does look like that. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonya? I don't see her anywhere, and I need to see her at all times, or else I'll die. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give it up already. I love her! Alright, we got any clues here. List of subjects, and a newspaper article. With, uh, what's her face? Oh, wait, that doesn't look like her. See the picture? I thought first I thought it's like the little fucking girl, but that, that's, uh -huh. that's like her mom, I guess. Maybe a sister. There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? The list of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just before that, are names I've seen before. Oh wait, <laughs> I was asking why there were no like non-Japanese students, and I completely forgot about Sonia. <laughs> Shit. Let's see, what's this newspaper about? There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard below that Kyoko Sayonji is written there. What is this newspaper? Oh, uh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. It says Miss Hyoko Sayonji. This can't be the same Hyoko, right? Yeah. The hero could we know she's dead. And she was a little shithead. She was much smaller and much more childlike. Yeah. It that was... was her defining feature. Yeah. Unfortunately. Actually, no, her defining feature was her attitude. But this photo in the newspaper. I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure. It's too different from the Hyoko we know. Oh, yeah. What does this mean? Oh my god. Hmm? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she like Hyoko's older sister or something? No, this is Hyoko Seonji. <laughs> then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first name and last name. Her family must hate her. An older sister with the same name? I mean, that's the only explanation, right? I mean, take a look at yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention older sister? Uh, I don't think anyone was close to her. 
She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Sionji family's only daughter. She doesn't have a sister than a relative? Uh, there's too much of a resemblance. That's Hyoko. Uh. What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure, which was really weird. She got away with all kind of crap for looking like that. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? She's dead. Yeah. <laughs> there she is, dead. She's already dead. There's no way she could have got a growth spurt because she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. Oh, okay. What the heck? This is the truth. If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper. We've gone back in time. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. How could there be a photo of a grown up when she's already dead? Why does this exist? Hmm. Hmm. Could be related to that list of subjects over there. Oh. If it says subjects, maybe it means they were some kind of experiment, right? The experiment changed Yoko's body? Well, I say, just say, uh, allow me to messed up what experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, would that mean we're also test subjects? Our names are written on the blackboard under the list of subjects. She. What kind of experiment was it? Oh, what's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I hope that's all. Subjects. Yeah. Oh, there's still more to look at. Uh, is there any other name that stands out? Oh, Ultimate Imposter, maybe? Oh, I actually I can't interact with this at all. Never mind. Wait, something that looked, maybe this guy? Yeah. Wait. His name is Izuru Kanakura, but I thought he was a student. He looks like an old ass man. Yeah. What? But they said he was a student. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name actually the placard says The Founder, Izuru Kubakura. Hmm. Founder, his name is Izuru Kubakura. Hmm. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Another mystery. <laughs> his hyper realistic face. I know what you did last summer, Hajime. You took it up the ass the first time. Okay, well, that's. <laughs> I was there, Hajime. Uh, wait, there's something else? Oh, we already saw that. Yeah, I guess that's good. Okay, cool. That's it for this room, right? God damn it. Oh, wait, of course. There's a floating email. There are letters floating in the air. Like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. She. I guess I should read it. I guess. You want to read it? Uh, sure. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Ashima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy is not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Ashima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shiny future. <coughs> immediately eliminated? <laughs> Does that mean this is an order to kill them? Yeah, put them to the fucking sword. Doesn't sound peaceful at all. That's understandable. <laughs> They're assholes. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, <laughs> Which all out war. We really need to shorten that down. Like, why? There's no way humanity continued using that phrase for that. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that in easily. I gotta figure out. Wait, the biggest, most awful, uh, most tragic. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Ugh. Ugh. We guess you've totally raised all the flags on this war. Congratulations, Ajime. You made me come. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next stage. Let's go. Oh yeah, the ha the haunted house floor. 
Not again. Oh, man. It's always different than last time. When that flag Wanakuba mentioned is raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can you do that? Now is not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. All right. Let's go. I miss f seeing Byakuya again. And uh, Nekomaru. I want them to come back. And this f place is really fucked up. I used to, um... When I'd mod Fallout New Vegas, sometimes I'd fuck up with the textures and it'd wind up looking like this, and it was really fucking obnoxious. Because then what's I'd have... Your, hmm? What's your most proud... The, the mod you're most proud of? Uh, I mean, I never made mods, but the one that I love playing the most was, um... Uh, it was a Doctor Who mod. It's called Fallout Who Vegas. And it was cool because you'd get a TARDIS and you could fucking, like... It was like a, just a different way of fast traveling, but it was cool because you got to hit all the buttons. And I got a sonic screwdriver. It was really cool. And you could turn into a Time Lord and you could uh, do a regeneration process if you died. It was neat. Very well thought out mod. There's a billiard table, a dark floor, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. Wait, just out of curiosity, were you asking because, uh, did it, wait... Did I also, did, in the past, did I tell you about other mods I got for um, games like Skyrim and all that? No. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not going to oh. say anything that'll implicate me then. Why? <laughs> you know, sometimes when you play a game like Skyrim or for Fallout New Vegas, you know, you want to get the sexy bikini buds with big old bitties. On the death claws? Yeah, yeah. Sexy death claws with big old titties and big swinging dicks. And instead of killing you, they'd grab you and just, like, hug you, but then your character still dies. They go all ragdolly. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. Well, straight to the email. This hologram again. What's this one say? Hmm. Looks like another email. Looks like a sext. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, re regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in inquiring them and have placed them in our care, though they were all dispersed. What's that? What was that? Hmm? Huh? My hearing's really bad, I'm sorry. Though they were all dispersed. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we were successful in acquiring. <laughs> okay, that's what you do. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determine that they are the same age as the others, so we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. <laughs> God damn it. That was like fucking with my mind. You've succeeded in fucking with my mind, brother. Even gonna be like discernible or like. I I think so. It'd probably be fine. <laughs> It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our own care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? And why is this happening? You know, we just read it, but I wasn't really... I know, I kind of blanked out over... The I was kind of like, wait, what's he talking about? <laughs> I was so focused on, like, how to read it, I didn't actually pay attention to it. It's not gonna come up with that. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a very vital clue we're gonna need. <laughs> If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why are we forced to kill each other on this island? I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation has set this all up. 
Hmm. My, my, Hajime. If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse dead. It's your fault. What is this? <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's sexy emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can do that? I'm pretty sure that's, like, all I've been doing. Worf has controlled you. You seem to possess many talents. You could say... Every talent, like, uh, Izuru Kamakura. Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. I'm calling it. I think the bear is controlled by a Kamakura. That's not important. Shit. It's true that Danny should connect everything to what's happening right now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Nothing else? God damn it. What else is there of interest? I swear to God. Oh, the man. Oh, there's a file. Hello. It's a file with Hostbook Academy seal on it. But it says confidential, so you shouldn't look at it. This is a big secret, right? Ooh. Why would an important document be here? Why am I asking? This is obviously Monokuma's doing. I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the About whole. The... Co 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 cultivation place. <laughs> For many years, Hope Speak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. talents. Like, biggest pee pee, biggest pee pee. <laughs> The ultimate dick, but it's not like somebody who's a dick, it's just who has the best looking dick. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our friends, with our hands, we will help birth a true, true hope, hope to the un entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. Mm -hmm. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What follows was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms that had no idea what any of them meant. He got no boy. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope Speak Academy was behind something like that. Yee. I don't get it. I'm a big dumbo. There's something about these words. True hope, huh? Hmm. What if the true hope was um um gamer girl and then we got her killed? Who? Gamer girl. I'm trying to remember her name. Fuck. It's been erased from my mind because we're in a simulation. Not because I have bad memory. Chiaki. Yeah, yeah that's it. Chiaki Nana. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. With some sick ass chip tunes. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? This is totally disconnected from reality. Oh, this is fucking. Oh no, Akane, what happened? <laughs> What's happened to you, Akane? I'm all warbly. It's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Connie switched her nose at examining her surroundings. They're definitely real close. At least that's what my gut's telling me. And answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Mm, my gut feeling is both. He's right. They're both. What do you mean? I don't fucking know. It's a gut. Jeez. Well, that's true. God damn, Hajime. God damn. God, she's really trippy. All right. There's nowhere I can go. I can't go. Th oh, there's a hallway, though. But I can't go through here, either. To the pool. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. We're on the second floor. Okay. Wait, why is there a pool on the second floor? That seems like a bad idea. What if the floor leaks? Oh, the pool water is going to leak out and wash away the students. I can't go through any of the doors. The heck? I'm expecting it's going to pull some, like, PT shit, just because, like, there's nothing to explore here. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I'm just blind. <sighs> I saw that when you walked in. Did you? <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think we're in the position to see it. I think you're, I think you're lying to me. This must be a library. I'm gonna come. I probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. Yoink. 
this hologram. Ugh, again. It must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. Ooh, Makoto no No, Makoto Naegi. Huh. To the Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Naegi. From the first game, where are you guys? <laughs> what are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think about carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. It says you joined the Future Foundation because you agree with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy. You survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return to the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. What? I don't know. Who? Who was? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is just to Makoto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? He seems like the little shit had to do that. Did he betray the Future Foundation? Hmm. Email to Makoto Naegi. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's the protagonist from the first game. He's the first, like, ultimate lucky student. He has such a cool power, like, he can fall on a girl and, like, grab her boobs and not get yelled at. It's pretty fucking cool. You would understand. 